Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a quick word from our sponsor. The Sunday Book Review for June 26, 2022, the Declaration of Independence edition. And we begin with American Scripture, the making of the Declaration of Independence by Pauline Meyer. Meyer shows us the Declaration as both the defining statement of our national identity and the moral standard by which we live as a nation. It truly is the American Scripture. From the Declaration's birth and the hard and torturous struggle uh, by which Americans arrived at independence. The document has become sanctified. She describes the transformation of the Second Continental Congress into a national government, unlike anything that preceded or followed it with more authority than the colonists would ever have conceded to the British Parliament. And the great difficulty in making that decision for independence, the influence of Tom Paine's common sense, which shifted the terms of the debate, and the political maneuvers which allowed Congress to make this momentous decision. Meyer also reveals what happens to the Declaration after the signing and celebration, how it was largely forgotten and then revived to buttress political arguments of the 19th century. Next up, the heart of the Declaration, the Founders' Case for an Activist Government by Steve Pincus. From one election cycle to the next, the defining question continues to divide America's political parties, perhaps today even more so. Should a government play a major or minor role in the lives of citizens? The Declaration has long been invoked as a political treatise in favor of limited government. Yet the bulk of the document is a discussion of policy in which the founders outlined the failures of the British imperial government. Above all, they declared the British state had done too little to promote the prosperity of its American subjects. Looking long beyond the Declaration's frequently opening cited paragraphs, the author reveals how the document is actually a blueprint for government with extensive powers to promote and protect people's welfare. Next up, Inventing America by Gary Willis. This upended decades of thinking about the Declaration when it was first published back in 1978, and yet today remains one of the most influential and important works about scholarship of this founding document. Willis challenged the idea that Jefferson took all his ideas from John Locke, instead focusing on Jefferson's original drafts, which showed his debt to the Scottish Enlightenment philosophers such as Lord Kames and Francis Hutcheson, and even the metaphysics of Aristotle. His close reading of the previously overlooked drafts have altered and deepened the meaning and consequences of the single most important document in all of American history. And our final book is Gary Willis on the course of human events. Uh, Forty years after his first book, McCullough wrote and presented this speech and later had it published at the Jefferson Lecture in the Humanities. It's a great take from one of our greatest historians or recent and contemporary historians about the Declaration of Independence. It, to me, it almost read like an exciting thriller as you see not only Jefferson wordsmith uh, the, or write the, the drafts, but it was wordsmith largely by Ben Franklin. It's a great addition to your library on the Declaration of Independence. This week, the Communicator Society awarded two podcasts on the Compliance Podcast Network uh, awards of distinction. The first was Gwen Hassan's Hidden Traffic, and the second is Karen Woody's Classrooms Insider. So congrats to Gwen and Karen for these awards. Also, we have a new podcast on the Compliance Podcast Network, two actually. The first is All Things and Investigations. It's from the uh, law firm of Hughes Hubbard, where I interview lawyers in their investigations practice, and the Woody Report, where I take a deep dive into securities law with securities law professor Karen Woody. Look for both of these shows on the Compliance Podcast Network. And we actually have one more, which is Taxman on the intersection of tax and compliance, where with my 
tax colleague extraordinaire, Tracy Howell, we look at five different issues that every compliance officer needs to be aware of regarding corporate tax. It's a fascinating series that's on a topic not often explored. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.